My name is Alexandra Cohn and I graduated from FIU in 1987 with a Master's in Hospitality Management. And I'm Jeff Cohn and I graduated from FIU with a uh, BS in Hospitality Management in 1984. I took my first wine class at FIU uh, with Professor Greer and uh, the first two wines that really got me excited about wine was a Fiddletown Zinfandel from Ridge and a Chateauneuf de Pop. And for me, I think it was part of the fact that it had so many layers and so complex because they were blend wines. And what I do here is a lot of blending. So I think the influence that I got from that has carried through. We're right here in the middle of harvest at J.C. Cellars in 2011. I am the winemaker here and owner of J.C. Cellars. Uh, I started J.C. Cellars in 1996. So I am a CPA, I have worked doing hotel and winery consult, uh, audits here in San Francisco before we had our first child in 1999 and that's when I stopped working there and really our business started to grow so i solely employed by JC Sellers doing everything except making the wine. Sure. <laughs> People think the wine industry is such a romantic industry. It's a lot of hard work. You have, and I know I'm thinking from the numbers side of it, being the accountant wife, but you have 18 months that you're making product before you have anything to sell the first vintage out. So we're in the luxury wine category, 25 to $85 are the price points on our wines. We distribute into about 26 different states. You have to have passion and you have to be able to, to make certain decisions to, to make great wine, but you have to be able to, to, to feel it. It's a different experience. It's not just passion, but it's a feeling um, that you get. It's in, uh, when the wine is fermenting in the tank, understanding what's going on, tasting it every day while it's fermenting, making decisions on how many times they punch it down, when do we press it, what temperature do I want the fermentation to hit. Uh, each of these are little steps along the way. What yeast do I want to use on it? Um, to the barrel program that I use, you know, we use all different sort of the cement tanks, uh, large format barrels, 60 gallon barrels. So for me, it's a, it's a little bit of a mystery, a little puzzle piece, and it keeps me excited. And every year it's different, which is really exciting for me. I, I will say I had applied to go to Cornell, and I didn't get accepted, and I'm really happy I never did, because I would not have had the opportunities in Ithaca, New York, that I had in Miami, Florida. I mean, FIU was a training ground because of all the hospitality jobs there in Miami. What's been built now, I mean, students have a fabulous training right there. And I, that, I think, is just, it's fabulous. There's not many schools that can tout what FIU has. But, but also, the fact that you, you did work at Hyatt, and through FIU, you, got the, you worked at Hyatt, and then through Hyatt, you met your future husband. He was a food. He was a food. Hour, huh? He was a food and beverage cost controller, and I was an accounting trainee. And uh, I do remember the date. <laughs> That's wonderful.